The next six weeks are going to be very, very interesting and very telling on what the Toronto real estate market is going to look like in the near future. I mean, historically, April is the best time to be a seller. It's the time where the prices are at the highest point throughout the year. I think what we're trying to figure out is if it's going to shake out the same way in 2022 as it has before, because quite frankly, price growth has been ahead of schedule this year. And at this point, we've already seen the growth of the last year or the year before in just the last three to four months. And that, my friends, has to cool off at some point. I think we're entering that zone today and I wanna discuss that in detail with you and go over my 2022 spring market real estate predictions. First of all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sid and I do run a real estate team here in the greater Toronto area. Thanks for all your questions and pleasure to do business with some of you as well. It's just so awesome to see all of you guys see value in the videos I provide. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me understand which videos you find useful. If you're trying to make sense of the market and decide whether it's a good time to enter the market or sell a property sometime in 2022, the first link in my description will allow you to book a call with me directly to discuss a seller consultation, a buyer consultation, or simply to chat about real estate. All right, so where do we go from here on? I think the general consensus across the board is that the market is no longer like it used to be last month. We can talk about all the factors like the rate hikes, the buyers just being exhausted at this point. But the reality is that we've hit a tipping point where the prices are just going to hover at the same place for some time moving forward. When I say predictions, let's be honest, these are guesstimates of me seeing what the market looks like and comparing it with what I witness on a daily basis when I'm on the ground level selling real estate. To try to sum it up and make sense of it all for you, my first main prediction is that we're going to see an influx of inventory going forward from beginning to mid-April because many of the sellers are comparing their properties with the sale prices of last month and the month before. I just don't think prices are going to continue to accelerate like they were before, but there is a caveat to this. I think homes that are listed under 800,000 will likely still sell at a higher price point and accelerate at a fast pace. But if you're gonna bring in a property in the next two months, specifically a freehold, make sure you set right expectations. Don't just cherry pick a last sale that sold for way over it should have because a buyer overpaid and expect your home to sell for that price. Compare your property with a mixture of the sales in January, in February, and in March, and come up with a reasonable explanation of why you think your home is worth what it should be. Come to the expectation that if I knew I get this price, I'd still be very happy with it, knowing that not every home is selling for more than what the last sale was anymore. My second prediction is that prices are going to hover for the next three to four months. Now, I know that's a bold statement. However, some micro markets and price segments may still see significant growth over the next few months, but overall, we're gonna start seeing prices hover at a similar price point. Some segments I think are going to see minor price corrections of up to five to 10% down compared to January, February, and March. But if we really look at the run up in prices over the last three months, it really does sum up most of the price growth for the rest of the year. If we look at the last year's price growth, the first three months really showed the most amount of appreciation for the rest of the year. And this may be a similar case. After the first few months in last year's price increase, we started to see the prices hover in the summer and then jump up again in fall. And I have a feeling we're gonna see a very similar trend in the prices of 2022. My third prediction is that we're gonna start seeing properties come out listed at the price that the sellers are actually expecting. And this is gonna be a nice change for buyers. We're so used to just seeing properties listed at a specific price and then start wondering what it's going to sell for and how many offers we're up against. I still think 50% of the inventory will have marketing prices and offer dates and for condos in the lower price points it's more like 70 to 80% because we have a low inventory in that segment. 
But overall, I'm very optimistic about this market now that the restrictions are lifted in Ontario and people are actually able to live their lives and go out and do more things. People are going to enjoy the summer, some will take vacations, and overall, this will kind of cool off the market in general, which is a good thing. I fully understand real estate is a hot topic, but what we're seeing people say is they're comparing their property with the home that sold last week. And that's like looking at the stock market where a stock was extremely high last week and now it's at a low point. We have to look at real estate as a long-term game plan. If you watch my videos, you know this. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but always look at real estate as a 10-year horizon and put yourself in a position where you will really like it in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Either way, I'll hang out in the comments and chat with you. Have an amazing day and remember, we provide results that move you.